Tricky Limit Problem Last week when the AB Calculus students took their first six weeks final, I took the same final right with them in order to be better able to grade the final, but also to see how I would do compared to these students that I am mentoring into this new world of calculus. The only problem on the test that I got wrong was this one, a finding limits problem. What I got was 0 over 0, so the answer I picked was E, D and E, standing for does not exist. I noticed in grading the test that it was also the answer the vast majority of students chose as their answer. When I told our lead district AP calculus teacher, Miss Etheridge, of my trouble, she was kind enough to email me a worked out solution to this problem. One thing this problem reveals is the value of fundamentals and in this problem we'll look at two techniques that are middle school or junior high level principles of mathematics. I want to see al say algebra but strictly speaking the concepts are pre-algebra. In our initial evaluation let's see what happens to this limit as h approaches zero. This is what we have in blue. In the numerator we have 1 over x minus 1 over x and in the denominator we have zero. So as h approaches zero, this limit approaches zero over zero. And it's here that Miss Etheridge points out zero over zero must use algebra, and that's her actual writing. If we come up with zero over zero, it's usually that more work is needed. The first thing we'll do is find the common denominator of this encircled numerator. And the common denominator will be x times quantity x plus h. And here is the expression with the common denominator of x times quantity x plus h employed. From here we can simplify the numerator by taking x over x times quantity x plus h and subtracting this expression x over x times quantity x plus h and that leaves us with negative h over x times quantity x plus h and that's as simplified as we can make the numerator. Now we're going to apply yet another 7th grade math concept and that is dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of that same fraction. So instead of dividing by this denominator h, we're going to multiply by its reciprocal 1 over h. And h over h cancel each other to equal 1. So that leaves us with the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over x times quantity x plus h and as h approaches 0 that leaves us with negative 1 over x squared. We box in our answer and circle our correct answer B. Yes, this problem is indeed a little tricky but I like it very much because it is challenging yet employs the techniques we were taught much earlier in our mathematics careers. This has been a tricky limit problem. Thanks for viewing.